Let's talk about villains. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Villains are defined by their goals, whether it's wanting to rule the world or simply kill Harry Potter. <laughs> Typically, the villain is wrong, but there are examples where the antagonist has some valid points. I live my entire life waiting for this moment. This video will look at some of my favorite justified villains. That's Dr. Zayas from Planet of the Apes. No, not Ben Stiller characters. I'm talking about Planet of the Apes, because in each film, the villain ends up being right. He's a born killer. Let's start with the first one. I know who I am, but who are you? Now, Dr. Zayas is the chief defender of the faith and the minister of science. Also, he's got a real grudge against man. You are a menace, a walking pestilence. I think his bigotry comes from his religious beliefs. These are godless times, Mrs. Snail. Articulated here in the Sacred Scrolls. Beware the beast man, for he is the devil's pawn, for he is the harbinger of death. Dr. Zayas does all the things you'd expect from a classic villain. He lies, he distorts facts, he even lobotomizes his enemies. That's a good start. The irony is, Dr. Zayas was right, and the final scene proves it. It was Earth all along. In the sequel, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Dr. Zayas doubles down on his judgment of man. Help me. You asked me to help you. Man is evil, capable of nothing but destruction. And a human basically proves that point by detonating an atomic bomb. Well, Dr. Zayas doesn't even get to gloat about being right because he dies along with every living thing on Earth. A green and insignificant planet is now dead. Goodbye, Dr. Zayas. Then comes Escape from the Planet of the Apes, where a trio of chimps avoid that doomsday by traveling back in time. We came from your future. They arrive in 1970s Los Angeles where they become media darlings and snappy dressers. This time, the bad guy is Dr. Hasline, who's worried about the future of man. As the president's senior science advisor, what do you expect to experience from this historic meeting? Fear. Like Dr. Zayas, Hasline fears this could be the end of his civilization. Do you want them and their progeny to dominate the world, Mr. President? Well, not at the next election, no. Now, he becomes obsessed with stopping the apes. They must be killed. It has to be done and done quickly. Before we start a stone rolling, they'll gather enough poison moss to kill us all. Once again, the villain called it. Of course. Because based on what we've seen in the previous movies, apes will become the dominant species. The only good human is a dead human. <laughs> So technically, Dr. Hasline is completely justified when he guns down the baby chimp. <laughs> Don't worry, the chimps did the old switcheroo, their super intelligent baby is still alive. Mama, mama. And 20 years later, that baby grows up to become the hero of the fourth installment, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. And this time, the villain is the governor who runs a futuristic police state. And wouldn't you know it, North America is populated with a new underclass, simian servants. Waiting for an ape with enough intelligence, with enough will to lead them. The governor seems paranoid. He even sounds like a modern day conspiracy theorist. It's my understanding the baby was shot dead with its parents. Uh, so it was believed, Mr. McDonald. Meanwhile, our hero witnesses the unfair primate conditions and secretly organizes the ape revolution. That's exactly what the governor is afraid of. If we lose this battle, that's the end of the world as we know it! Sounds ridiculous, except that it's true. Tonight, we have seen the birth of the planet of the apes! And the governor's all like, I knew this would happen! It must be nice to always believe you know better. No, it's awful. It is awful. In these movies, the villain takes no pleasure in being right. In fact, he's punished for it. And despite his best efforts, Shoot them! Shoot them all! the future he fears happens anyway. And that's the winning formula for villains in Planet of the Apes movies. Paid for by the Committee to Reelect Dr. Zayas. I love you, Dr. Zayas!